Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll be showing you how to model this floor lamp in Revit. Let's get started. To start, let's click New. Look for Metric Lighting Fixture. Click Open. Let's go to our front elevation. And here, I'm just going to check the height. So it's around 1500. I'm going to put it to 1550. So next, let's put some reference plane just for guidance so I'm gonna click this put it to 150 also this one 150 and for this 300 Next, let's go to create. Let's use revolve. And let's create our pattern. Click axis line and then click finish so it looks like this let's go back to front elevation so let's create our legs so I'm gonna click create sweep blend sketch pad and I'm going to select a line. I'm going to select from here and then I want to go over click finish S go to your 3D view and here select profile one and edit profile I'm gonna select a circle I'm gonna do 10 And then click finish, select profile 2, edit profile, and click circle again. And here I want it to be 25. Click finish, and then finish. Go to our front elevation. And let's see how it looks. Okay, so now let's go back to our front elevation. So now that we finished the leg, let's go to our floor plan. We're going to make a copy of this. So click rotate, select this copy, and click this place. We're going to put it in 120 degrees. And then after that, we could just mirror this.
after this let's go back to our front elevation and let's create a void click finish and let's see it from our 3D in case it doesn't void out you can click this cut you need to select the void and then the cut area so once it's done we could go to floor plan and let's create an extrusion just gonna randomly create this and then I'm gonna select rotate copy it as well click place and then put it in 120 and then from here select and then press tab and then we could just mirror once it's done we could just trim and then just delete the remaining click finish and let's go to our front extend this and then let's go to floor plan again and let's create an extrusion a circle click finish go back to front elevation and just extend We're going to void this. Click finish and look at, at 3D. If it's not voiding, go back to front. and select select the void first and the object you want to void so next we're just gonna put material parameter so this is cover finish instant and then all of this and then create a material parameter Thank you for watching and I hope you liked the video. Please hit like and subscribe. Feel free to comment down below.